everyone, my name is Rory Clements and I work in VMware's end user computing team and today I'd like to show you RDS hosted applications in Horizon 6. So let's get stuck straight in. I'm here on my Mac and I've got my workspace up already and I'm just launching a, an RDS hosted app I've created earlier which is a Google Chrome which will let me get onto my view admin console and walk you through the steps required to actually uh, publish an application through Horizon 6. So in the demo here, I've actually already set up a single RDS host, um, which is registered with uh, the Connection Manager. And in Horizon 6, we uh, manage RDS hosts through the concepts of farms and application pools. And farms is just a logical collection of RDS hosts, and our uh, application pools are based on farms. So we'd have different farms for different application sets or different, uh, different use cases in the enterprise. So you see here, um, my single RDS host is uh, all registered with Vue. It all looks good. Uh, so I've got the Vue agent installed on there. I've already pre-installed the applications that I'd like to publish. And I've set up a farm here, which is actually called uh, Office uh, 2K13, which is primarily going to be serving out um, Office 2013 applications. But I think for the purposes of this demo, I just want to show you a simple app publishing, which is going to be um, the remote desktop client in Windows. So you can see here, I've actually already got a few applications published. So I've got all the kind of Office suite. Well, I click on Add here. What this will do is it'll actually pull a list of installed applications from the server to me here to publish. So I can either do that or I can add an application uh, manually just with a shortcut path in here. But for the purposes of this, I just want to go through and select one already. So the view agents reported back all the installed apps to the connection manager. And if I can just find uh, the remote desktop client in here, tick the box and that's ready for me to publish. So it really is a very simple kind of two step process here. I tick the application make sure that path is correct, click next, and it will give me a uh, uh, best guess at an ID and a, and a friendly display name, and that all looks good to me, so just click finish. And then straight away, that will give me the entitlement wizard here as well. So uh, I'll just add the, uh, the lab users group in here, which I'm a member of, so um, hopefully that will pop up in our uh, view client and workspace in just a sec. So I've just clicked OK here, entitle the users, and uh, just make sure that's all right, click OK, and that's fine. So really, that's it's as simple as that. So the application's installed on the RDS host. I've gone through, gone into the application pool that I'd like to entitle it with, um, selected the app and entitled users, and that's it. So now, um, actually, if I hit the uh, farm with a view, if I hit the instance with a view client right now, I'll see it straight away. But workspace uh, will need to synchronize. So generally, this happens on an automated schedule. But for the purposes of the demo, I just want to quickly synchronize it now so you can see it appear in the workspace. So let's uh, just uh, click sync now. You see there, these are the frequency settings. But I'll just hit sync now to make sure that it pulls through my new application entitlement to my workspace. And I can show you that straight away as it appears on the workspace for us. So we'll just let this sync and this should summarize and say, I've just noticed a new application. There it is, there's one app and one entitlement. So that's our group entitlement to the uh, remote desktop client app. Just do a quick sync and save. And now my actual workspace, which is running in the background here, will reflect the new, uh, the new icon, hopefully, and the new application that we've just published. So now we've got that on the workspace, let's uh, launch the remote desktop client and make sure that everything's working from a, uh, a seamless application perspective. So uh, let me fire it up here, get my remote desktop, click that, and that will call out to the locally installed view client here on my Mac. And then connect back into the farm and present to me the application in a seamless window. Hopefully that will just pop up here on the workspace. We should see that come up in a nice seamless window. Here it comes. And there we go, so it's the remote desktop connection that we all know and love. Already pre-populated it with the uh, RDS host's uh, fully qualified domain name in here. So let me just click, click Connect, tap in the administrator password, and then uh, we should hopefully see the desktop of the RDS host. So that we know that we've uh, successfully completed publishing an app. So in summary there, I've just showed you uh, that an RDS host is uh, linked into the View Connection Manager instance. And I've gone into the View Admin, selected an application, and published it out to the workspace, and then launched it there. So showing RDS hosted applications through Workspace in Horizon 6.